Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm planning. And this idea that I have is to take characters from TV shows, mainly sitcoms to begin with, and rank them in like a Taskmaster style ranking. So I'll be going from fifth place to first place and I'll be basing it on how I expect Greg would judge would judge them and how well I think they do in certain challenges and tasks. The rules for this little series that I'm doing is that, again, like I said, I'll base it on how I think Greg will score the characters. Um, and also, um, as in Taskmaster, it's five contestants. I'm going to be choosing five characters from the show. Um, if there's a main cast of five people, then I'll just automatically use them. If, like Ghosts, for this first video that I'm doing, there are more than five main characters, I am going to randomly select five of them and then use everybody else in another video. So I did randomly select five characters. Um, to make the things a bit easier, I chose 10 characters from Ghost. So the only Ghost that I would say was like kind of a main one that, have been, that has been left out is Humphrey. Uh, apologies to Humphrey, he often gets left out and unfortunately he's been left out in this video as well. Um, but I may do a future video with like some more minor characters in Ghosts as well. Um, but yeah, I wanted the main 10 characters to be involved in this series. And using a random wheel selector, the first characters that I'm going to pit against each other Taskmaster style are the Captain, Mary, Julian, Thomas and Robin. So the way the random selection worked out is I think that this first round is going to be like the characters are a lot stronger, I think, than in the second round of contestants. Um, they will be split up into different videos, so I can kind of talk about each character a bit more in depth, so I don't feel kind of rushed. Um, but yeah, I definitely think first round, from like looking at it briefly, is going to be the strongest set of contestants. So yeah, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. As this first episode of the series involves ghosts, um, I'm going to make the decision to treat them as if like they're human, um, because if they're competing against Alison and Mike, like they can't be in, as involved in tasks as Alison and Mike can if they're ghosts. So it's gonna be purely, we're gonna treat them as if they're real living people rather than ghosts. So let's get into the ranking, starting with fifth place. And I think out of these contestants, fifth place would be Mary. Now I think Mary will do well in some challenges. She has good craft skills. As you know, she builds, uh, she can make a basket. She has a lot of like natural farm yard and, and like old craft skills. And I think that that will definitely play in. She, she she can cook and that might play into it as well. She does have a weird imagination. I feel like this will serve her well in some tasks, but will often like be a bit of a detriment in other tasks as well. Um, an example of this is in like her flashbacks. Um, they, people were all floating. It was very weird. So yeah, I definitely think sometimes her imagination will be quite good in some creative tasks, but I do think it might be a bit of a distraction or she might not quite understand what the task is. In relation to this, I do think she is quite childlike at times. Um, part that reminds me in particular is when she's playing hide and seek with Kitty. She is very childlike occasionally and I definitely think that might be a bit of a detriment to her um, in certain tasks. I feel like a lot of the time she is like off with the fairy, she's distracted um, and I don't really see her as a very competitive person and I don't think some tasks that she, she wouldn't like to do certain tasks, especially if there's fire involved. I know in the series she has um, evolved and isn't as traumatised by fire and smoke but I definitely feel like if there is a task that involves it, it might like off put her a bit. Um, but yeah, so I don't think she'll do like terrible in tasks, but I can just imagine her being completely distracted and not really understanding the task at hand. Also, I don't think her reading skills are like that great. So in my opinion, I don't think she, she might like not understand the task or misinterpret it in a way um, that obviously will stop her from scoring points. However, I do think she'll benefit in a studio environment because I don't think Greg would want to be mean to her. So I don't think he'd like be particularly harsh, but I just don't think she'll do as well in the tasks as the other contestants in this series, in, in this round. Um, so that's why I've put her in fifth place. I do feel like Mary, even though she's not dumb, I do feel like she doesn't have as much kind of like knowledge of modern day things as the other characters, which I definitely think will be a detriment to her in the tasks. 
In fourth place, I have put Thomas. This was quite a difficult decision to make, um, but there are a couple of reasons why I think Thomas will score quite negatively in the series. Um, even though he is quite competent, he's not like, he's quite intelligent, and I do, don't think he'll necessarily do bad in the tasks, like in terms of like physical tasks or creative tasks and stuff like that. But I think his main detriment will be that he takes everything a bit too seriously. And I think Greg would mark him down for that. As we saw in the Christmas episode with the pantomime, he did get carried away um, and he made things all a bit too morbid. He took it way too seriously. And yeah, he got so carried away. I can, I can imagine him doing that in tasks. Um, and I feel like he would misinterpret it um, sometimes uh, because he'll read things and he might put like a poetic flair on it and just misinterpret the task and what needs to be done because some of the tasks are quite like literal um, and I think that he would, yeah, I think he would misinterpret things, elaborate on things a bit too much and make things more complicated than they are and that I think would be detrimental to him scoring points. Um, and also I think he would struggle with the time element of it. This is mainly coming from the fact that he writes like four hour poems um, when things could be a bit more concise. So I feel like he might have that, like that might impact his um, like ability in the time sensitive tasks um, where he might spend too long making, if they've got to construct something, he might spend too long making it like beautiful and aesthetic rather than actually focusing on the task. Um, so that's the main reason why I feel like he will be scored negatively. And I just don't think he would be able to defend himself as well as other characters in the studio environment to kind of boost up his points. So yeah, that's my reasoning for putting him in fourth place. However, as I said, I think the contestants um, in this round are a lot stronger than the ones in the second round. Um, so I think comparatively, he'd do actually pretty well, but in relation to the other contestants that were randomly selected in this round, I just don't think he'd do as well. Now on to third place. It was very, very difficult for me to narrow down third and second place because I think in a way the two people I've selected here, I think are kind of polar opposites, but the effect of like the way the scores will go are quite similar. So ultimately I have put Julian in third place. Um, and the person who was difficult to decide between was the captain. And I think again, as I said, they are complete opposites with the way that they would approach these tasks. I think Julian will constantly try to bend the rules or just outright ignore the rules, but will be quite good at defending himself and arguing in the studio. However, I think the captain would be too rigid in the rules of the tasks and wouldn't really think outside the box as much as other contestants. Julian is quite lazy, so I don't think he would put as much effort into the tasks as the captain. And also, but also he is quite sneaky and deceptive, so he might be able to get some sneaky points here and there. But overall, I think his <laughs> desire to cheat on the tasks would be very strong and he would cheat a lot. Um, and also I think he would try to bribe his way. And we've seen Greg, uh, like Greg's rulings on trying to bribe. Sometimes he does let people get away with it, but I think Julian would push him too far and he wouldn't accept <laughs> Julian's bribes. Um, Alex might, but um, as we saw with Al Murray, Al Murray did spend a ton of money on the show and I think Julian would do that to the extreme. Just There'd be just so much cheating and so much attempt at bribery that I think Greg would score him down. But I do think he, he does have a really good tendency to bluff his way through things and I think that would get him more points than Thomas, which is why I think he's really good placed in the middle. In addition to this, he is quite smart. He is a smart person and he can be quite determined at times. So yeah, that's why I think he's really, really suited for third place. So this means that I've put the captain in second place. As I said, I think that he will follow the rules very well. I don't think we'll see the captain cheat very much at all. Um, however, I do think there is a disadvantage to following the rules so rigidly. Sometimes you might not think outside the box as much and that sometimes tasks need that. It needs people to think outside the box and do things differently. However, as a soldier, I think he'd be quite good in time sensitive things when, you know, he's got a deadline to finish by. He will finish by that deadline and I think that would serve him quite well in the tasks. He is a very organised person. He likes things to be kind of set in place and I feel, feel like a lot of the times that will play to his advantage. 
he's quite, he's very intelligent, he is well read, and I think that he will have the attitude, a bit like maybe Kerry, uh, like, you know, the Bosch, get it done. I feel like that would be him, and I think that would work very well. He'd read the task and be like, right, let's get this done, and he'd get it done. However, I think his detriment would be in the more creative tasks, just because I haven't, we haven't really seen him be that creative, um, and the fact that he doesn't really use his imagination as much. Yeah, so that's my thought on that. However, I do think there are, he does have a lot of skills, like he, you know, we saw him running around the house, so he's quite athletic. He would obviously have good aim in terms of, you know, he uses guns, so I feel like he'd have good aim, where that sometimes comes into play in some tasks. So yeah, that I think, would kind of serve to his advantage. Another thing that I think would be a little bit of a detriment to him and the main reason why I didn't put him in first place was because I do feel like sometimes he is a little bit embarrassed to express himself. And I think when we translate this to like scorings in Taskmaster, I feel like he would be a bit afraid to embarrass himself on the show. And I feel like if you're on Taskmaster, you have to be prepared to embarrass yourself, do silly things. And I do feel like sometimes he wouldn't want to do that. So I feel like he would lose some points on that aspect, especially when it comes to Greg scoring a lot of the time, he does award the very like um, extravagant and just silly tasks, um, especially when it comes to like creative things and like the film stuff. So yeah, that's why he is in second place. This means that I have put Robin in first place. Yeah, this was, th this did surprise me, but when I was thinking about it, like doing everybody's like advantages and disadvantages, Robin came out on top in my opinion. He is arguably the smartest character on the show. Um, he adapts very easily to new situations and like he has the most life experience. He is the oldest ghost by like a long shot and he embraces that, he learns and I feel like he would do really well. So he is very active, he runs about a lot, he explores, he's very curious and inquisitive and I think that would work very well on the show. I think he would follow the instructions, you know, sometimes he is a bit like a dog so he does follow instructions well but he does think outside the box as well and he, that I think would translate very well to how he acts in the tasks. He's also not afraid to embarrass himself or do gross things. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of tasks like that, he would go for a lot of like the shock value, which would get him points. Um, and yeah, I think Greg would award reward that pretty well. As we've seen throughout the show, he is very, very good at chess. So like that, I think just goes to show how he's always like thinking ahead and he like, and with chess, you do have to follow the rules, but you also have to know how to like, yeah, think ahead, think outside the box, think of different moves. I, I feel like that is just a testament to how his brain works and how he would approach the tasks. Um, and I think that would work very well, especially because he has like the physical skills to go along with it. The one thing that I'm not 100% sure about is the creative skills. He is quite funny and he does like to kind of be the centre of attention, like we've seen with the pantomime, always making the funny jokes. So in that aspect, I think he'd be quite good. I think he does have quite a good imagination, but I'm not really sure about like drawing or art or things like that. I'm not sure how well that would play out. And in terms of like reading as well, I'm not sure how good his like reading and writing skills are, if there's like a task, like a script writing task or something like that. I just don't know how well he would do with that. So that is his main detriment in my opinion, but overall, I think he's definitely the strongest contestant. Um, and I think also as well, he'd be a fan favorite. He'd be good in the studio, which I think is always good for getting like bonus points. Um, and he wouldn't be afraid to get Alex involved as well to like kind of like torture him. Whereas like the captain, I think would be a bit embarrassed to get a bit close to Alex. Um, maybe, I don't know, uh, but yeah, I feel like he wouldn't be afraid. He would do anything and I think he would get the points for doing that as well. So that is my rankings of these five characters in Taskmaster. As I said, I'm going to do a part two where I rank the other characters, the remaining ones, which are Mike, Alison, Fanny, Kitty and Pat. And yeah, I'd be really interested to see what you think of my rankings, who you would put in first place, whether you agree, whether you disagree. Um, and yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this. It's a different video to what I've done, but I really liked this idea that I had. So I wanna do it with a bunch of different shows as well. So if you have any shows that you would like me to kind of 
put in Taskmaster to talk about how well I think the characters would do in Taskmaster, then please let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, then please give it a like. It's really appreciated. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos to do with Taskmaster or Ghosts or just TV. Um, I'll have some more videos out for you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.